Spring, 2013, Washington, D.C. For five days, from April 29th to May 3rd, 40 military and government witnesses and researchers testified for over 30 hours regarding extraterrestrial presence on Earth. During the citizen hearing on disclosure, Paul Hellyer, the former Canadian Defence Minister, made astounding claims regarding extraterrestrial involvement with the human race. Among them is the assertion that we are not being visited by just one alien faction, but several. The investigation was launched into this whole subject and uh, a document was prepared which uh, concluded that at least four species had been visiting Earth for thousands of years. I'm aware of uh, more now. As a matter of fact, I saw a document uh, just a few days ago that mentioned 20. The thing about Paul Hellyer is the level of detail that he goes down to, numbers of civilizations, alien agendas. This is not some maverick UFO researcher. This is a politician still deeply connected. He has a number of extremely high level government and military and intelligence community sources. They are different species and consequently may have different agendas. I don't think we can say that they all have the ag same agenda any more than we could say that the United States, uh, China and, uh, and Russia had the same agenda. Is it really possible the government has been covering up the presence of otherworldly beings here on Earth? And could there, in fact, be more than one agenda? Ancient astronaut theorists claim that not only do different species of extraterrestrials exist, but this information has been recorded in some of mankind's earliest writings. Tal al Mukayir, Iraq, 1922. British archaeologist Sir Leonard Woolley and his team uncover the ancient Sumerian city of Ur and discover numerous clay tablets containing fantastic tales of gods interacting with humans. We have these cuneiform tablets carved into clay with a primitive stylus, but the stories they tell, the Sumerian mythology of the Anunnaki, those who from heaven to earth came, are so intricate and fascinating. After studying the tablets for nearly 50 years, preeminent Mesopotamian historian Thorkill Jacobson publishes Treasures of Darkness, a book outlining the governing structure of Sumerian gods called the Anunnaki. Thorkill Jacobson, he was not a ancient astronaut theorist or a ufologist by any means. But he just simply took all of these Mesopotamian stories and he was able to construct from that exactly how the gods rule, how they manage, and the effect then that it has on the human population once they establish certain policies. Jacobson outlines that the gods served not only in their local communities, but also held office with an assembly of gods on a broader cosmic level. The high-ranking gods of the Sumerians include half-brothers Enlil and Enki, who have opposing ideas about mankind. Enki is a very benevolent god, a very wise god. In fact, he's credited with being the one who actually fashioned or created the human body. And his agenda was to raise humankind even to the level of the gods. He's opposed by his half-brother Enlil, who's very militaristic and commanding, who prefers to keep humanity at the level of slaves and sex objects. And so throughout the Babylonian epics, there's this continuing battle between these two opposing forces, these brothers. But just who were these brothers? According to ancient astronaut theorists, the Sumerians were visited by alien beings from another solar system. It's easy for us to say that the Anunnaki were their gods. But let's be clear, the Sumerians did not refer to the Anunnaki as gods. They referred to them as a race of giant, human-looking people who came from the stars. 
The tale of two gods with opposing agendas for mankind is not only expressed in Sumerian mythology, but can also be found with the Greek story of Zeus and Prometheus, the Vedic texts about Vishnu and Shiva, and even the biblical accounts of God and Lucifer. Could it be that these stories are actually describing separate factions of extraterrestrial beings that clashed over the progression of humanity? Enlil and Enki, they fought over whether humanity should be destroyed or not. And ever since then, there has been a battle that has been going on between extraterrestrial watchers that want to see humanity evolve and grow, and another group that wants us destroyed. Look at humankind. Some are good, some are bad. I think extraterrestrials are the same thing. Some are very enlightened. They want to upgrade us. They want great things for this planet and this universe. There are others who don't. They want to keep us ignorant and down and fighting, greedy. If we're being visited, it's unlikely that there's just one race and one agenda. Chances are, if there is extraterrestrial life out there, there's a whole myriad of different civilizations. Do the legends of gods with different agendas for mankind actually give credence to the extraterrestrial claims of former Canadian Defense Minister Paul Hellyer? And if so, are these otherworldly rivalries still occurring today? Perhaps clues can be found by looking at our more recent past and the secret technology of the Nazis.